Patrick Vieira, it's great to speak to you. I hope you're doing A-OK -okay today. Let's talk football. How big a task was it for you to get this side ready for the Premier League? Because at the end of last season, the manager left. A lot of players were out of contract. There were some injury concerns. It must have been an uphill battle from the beginning. No, but we knew that uh, that will be a challenge, a uh, really exciting challenge. I think the chairman, the sports director, had a really clear idea about how they want to build this new chapter, this new team. So it was quite really easy for me to come and on board and uh, and working with them. And uh, and obviously we are pleased with what we see on the field. And, um, and we know how long the season is and how difficult it is. We have to keep working hard, working well, and, um, and try to win football matches. How about the job itself? Did you spend a while to think about it or were you, or were you just ready to jump straight back into management? No, I was ready to jump straight away after the experience that I had at Nice and having the opportunity to come to the Premier League and to a really special football club, I couldn't hesitate it twice and um, I jumped straight away into it. What about the challenges? What's different about where you've been before to the English Premier League? Because I can imagine the intensity here must be something challenging as well as a manager. Yeah, the, the game is, is faster, the intensity is higher. Um, you know, there is more the league is more competitive than he used to. You're looking at the league table at the moment. You're looking at the number of points from the bottom teams to half of the table. You're looking at from the top to the six or seven places. So the team and the league is, is, is really competitive. So every game you will find a different challenges and, uh, and you just have to be ready as a football club, as a team to to face those challenges. When it comes to managing your players, getting ideas across on the training pitch and in the match, do you think your profile as a player, because we all know who you are, we all know what you can do in the pitch, has helped you or not? Yes, of course, that, uh, that helped me to take the players on board. But the ideas and the clarity that I want from them tactically will give the respect that I want from the players. Um, being a player, yes, that helped me to anticipate it, how players can think, but the bottom line is how clear my message has to be to the players and what I expect from them in the game, that will make me win their confidence. Because when we think of your time also in England, I mean, you were very much competing for titles. I think it, it, it's fair for me to say that Crystal Palace aren't at the stage where they're competing for titles. So have you had to adapt your own expectations back in English football now? I think I just have to, to bring my experience to the football club in, um, in every level. I think we're still a really ambitious football club. We want to do well. We want to challenge ourselves. And we have a young team with some young players who don't have a lot of experience in the Premier League. And our responsibility as a football club and myself as a manager is to grow that kind of self-belief on the players to, to perform every week in the Premier League. And, um, you know, we, if we want to do well, we have to, to put in place uh, some work ethics, some, uh, some new ideas in place for players to, to be even more demanding on themselves as well. OK. You know, I've worked with a lot of Arsenal players and, and your name always seems to crop up. I mean, I've, I've spoken to Tony Adams frequently and uh, Martin Keo and Gail Clichy, a whole bunch. And your name always comes up. And I think back to when I was a teenager watching you and Highbury, small pitch, and you're very big, you're very tall, and you just seem to fill up the pitch and, and be able to cross it in just a few strides. My memory's playing tricks on me, of course, but is there any player currently in the Premier League that reminds you of a young Patrick Vieira back in the day? <laughs> it's, um, 
It's, it's really difficult because I believe that every single player has the characteristic, the, um, the strength and, and weakness. And um, there's a lot of players that I admire in the Premier League. Um, but there is not a prototype of players who look like the players I was before. You know, um, there is a player that I like very much, uh, Conte. We were completely different as a, as a player, but I love him. I love the way he is behaving on the field. I like the way that he he work for the team. He sacrifice himself for his teammates, and uh, and that's what I like about a player on the field. Yeah, I think it's safe to say physically you're very different because he's my height and I'm a very short man, Patrick. You can't tell on camera, but I struggle to touch the crossbar. Let's put it that way. Um, beyond just Arsenal, though, you've played at some of the biggest clubs in the world with some fantastic managers. Did you speak to any mentors or former coaches about management just to sit down and throw ideas about? Oh, but manager in general, um, obviously... Spending nine years with Arsene at Arsenal, he's the one that I'm really close and we spoke a couple of times about football in general and about Palace because he's watching uh, our games and um, talking about ideas uh, and how he's seen the team performing. Um, last time we played against Everton and I had a really good conversation with, with Rafa because we met a couple of times around and, and there's always a pleasure talking with him with, with football. I met with Brendan Rodgers and we, we talk about the game, about his experience and my experience here in Palace with Nice. And, and I think it's always interesting to exchange, having conversation with those managers with a lot of experience because there's always something positive to take from those conversations who then after you have to manage it a new way to get what you want. Um, but I'm, um, I love having those conversations with those ex, um, experienced managers, I would say. What is your philosophy, Patrick? What, what is your philosophy for, for, for football in general? How do you view the game and how it should be played? I think the game has to be played with a lot of passion, desire, sacrifice, and the work ethic on the field. And I think if this has to be consistent basics. And then after we can talk about the tactical aspect of the game. But for me, I will want to love the players to, to have this work ethic, to be really demanding on themselves. And when you're looking at the fan base that we have here in our football club, and you're looking at the atmosphere that we, we have in our football club, and I think the way we want to play with the atmosphere on the stadium, I think that match quite really well and I think that is one of the reasons why one of the reasons why we are we are doing uh, doing good uh, at home okay well I, my time is almost running out I have a minute and a half I need to ask about Conor Gallagher such a brilliant player to watch so entertaining he's been the breakout star in the Premier League this year I think it's safe to say under your stewardship of course how impressed have you been with him and also the general impact he can have because the, the side seems to be very reliant on Zaha and Eze. And of course, Eze is now returning from injury, getting his sharpness back. So it's all coming together, isn't it? Yeah, I think uh, Eze is coming back from long-term injuries and it's always good to see him back on the field. But we need to understand that he's been out for quite a while. So he will need time to, to get to, to his best. But every week he's making a step forward and that is positive for us. And, um, and Connor, Connor is, is doing fantastically well. It's all about what we love in this football club. And that is one of the reasons why he's one of the fans' favourite. His work ethic on the field. He's playing with passion. He's running to get inside the box or he's running to cover his teammates or the way that he's closing people down. And, and that is what we love about Connor. And, and he can score goals. So when you're putting all these attributes um, to what he's doing for the team, um, he's doing really well at the moment. And, um, and the season is a really long one, so we have to, to manage him well as well to, to keep performing the way he's been doing it.